Hi folks, welcome back to another video. This is DoorDash Sucks channel here on YouTube and uh, I'm uh, going to start heavily promoting uh, some several channels, but one of them in particular, um, Thomas Schubeck Industries, uh, because Thomas is a great guy. He's been a sub of mine from pretty much the very beginning of the channel and my other channel is called Gig Apps Exposed and these vi these videos, folks, are really important to hear perspectives and other um, other thoughts and opinions and facts from other channels other than just mine. And uh, Thomas has been going off on a tear recently, and I'm not doing it to try to like get any prestige or anything on my channel. I've already, I've been here for two years, established. I'm doing it for, for him so you guys can go over and most of you, because some of you may not even know of Thomas Schubeck's channel. And he's there's another great channel called uh, Jeff Thomas Black. I also want to give a, a, a big shout out to Torp because Torp is the, the granddaddy of it all in, in my way, uh, it, for, for in my head, as far as exposing all of the, the corruption and the bullshit that's going on out there. And uh, I'm the guy that goes over all the in-betweens, too. <laughs> uh, but he, so there's just so many channels. Um, and we, so we'll start with them. But anyways, Thomas did a, a video recently. And uh, it's funny because Hannibal's Hungry just did a video. And I'm going to be actually critiquing that because there's some good information in there. And there's a few idiots over it uh, in, on this, in this gig space. Like one of them, this guy, Jay Corners Deliveries or whatever. He came over and attacked me, telling me, oh, yeah, what have you been doing for the community? And you're telling everyone that the dashes are getting ripped off 150000 in three years? Yeah, they are. Individual dashes. The average dasher gets ripped off $50,000 from them stolen through many means. And I'm going to show you in the video just some of the ways. Hannibal's going to explain it to you in, in that video when I go over it. But anyways... So Thomas, the other day, when, when Hannibal had dropped a new video, he also did a live, and he had Pedro in there. And so anyways, the beginning of this video, the name of the video is Reacting to the New Hannibal's Hungry's Video, Top Dash, a Glitch, Exposed. Uh, yeah, Exposed, okay? So we're gonna, I'm going to play this video, and uh, let's listen in on what Thomas says. And he's going to show you how to do the glitch, folks. Now, I'm not telling you to do it. That's up to you. Whether you want to do it or not, I have not used it. I have not even attempted it because I don't really need. I mean, the thing is, I have another job and I'm doing everything part time now with with the with the gig apps. I needed to get out of it like 70, 80 percent out of the gig apps because they it was just it's just too much. I'm working too many hours and not enough money. Um, and I know a lot of you want retribution and everything, uh, and I totally understand that. So, But it's up to you whether you want to use the glitch, because it's probably not going to be there too long. But at least we know who the scumbags are that have used the glitch, because they have alluded to the fact that they have, and they also admitted they knew about it. But, I mean, Pedro is one of the biggest offenders of it, because he's the guy who flipped the script. Mr. Bet on you, right? He should be betting on Jesus Christ our only Lord and Savior who's created this world and came back to die on a cross to save us. If he was doing that, he wouldn't have to lie, cheat, and steal on you, okay? So he's being exposed, and he's going to continue to be exposed until we run these channels off of YouTube for being frauds and liars, okay? Because they're, they're not going to be able to take the heat of the... Of, if you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. And they ain't going to be able to stay in the kitchen too long, okay? Because we have several channels now that are going to do attack videos on all these people for, for lying, cheating, and stealing, including Sin City Deliveries. He's not getting off. Your Driver Mike, uh, Trevor's Deliveries, you name it. We're going to expose them all. We're going to keep exposing them too. But anyways, here's how you pull the glitch, folks, if you want to get your, t your status up and, you and get all the best, greatest cherry-picked orders. So let's hear uh, Thomas. Uh, he's going to, his uh, top dasher, top dasher glitch uh, 101, how to do it. Here we go. <clears throat> Hello. Glitch dash here. Let's start off by. Uh, oh, and hard. Thomas's nickname. <laughs> Thomas's nickname is Glitch Dash. Okay, I like that. 
You should change the name too, but keep, well, I'll put it in within the name there, Thomas. That's a good one, Glitch Dash. I love that. <laughs> now, keep your name because they're going to remove that eventually, but you know, have fun with it while you can. All right, here we go. Dash Rap here. Let's see if we can sign on, start doing some glitches. All right. You signed on here. All right. Close that. your settings, go to app settings, pull up your Dasher app, force stop, all right, now we just wait for the order to come through, it'll, it'll send a message saying that we missed the order, and that the Dash was paused, and then once you receive the message, you open your Dasher app again, and uh, your AR will have either gone up or stayed the same, but no, no more taking shitty orders. Right, exactly, Thomas. Now, I want to say something. I think I know how a lot of these dashes do it. Like, they'll come on early in the morning, and they'll do the, the glitch dash until they'll just keep rinse and repeat until they get their acceptance rate up, and then after they get it up to a high amount, then they start the dash. It's not going to continue to creep up until you do it each time. So if you have, like, five, six hours of your time sitting around doing nothing one day you just sit there and let orders come in and keep the keep doing that as he's going to show you again and that's how that's how you get it up high so you can get all the good orders because once you get up into the high things they'll they'll send you the good ones or at least the ones that are out there all the other dashes will be chasing for peanuts for two dollar two dollar uh orders going 10 miles you know while you're getting the cherry ones for 30 or 40 going one or two miles you know <clears throat> All right, so there's the order, Wendy's. And we're just going to wait. <clears throat> just wait for that uh, message to come through that says the, the dash was paused. And somebody was asking me, um, I'm going to pull this comment here. Oop. Here we go. Dude, what video explains how to use the glitch? Can you please explain? I'm still not understanding. Uh, well, first of all, you have to have the Android phone. Um, but if you go to Jeff Thomas Black's channel here, this, this is the video. It's the beginning of the end for DoorDash. Um, that's the that's the video you need to be looking for. Uh, once you, uh, I think you cut in, like it cuts in like right at like the, I think like the 34 minute mark is when you want to start watching the video. Yeah, Two, I think the thirty-four the thirty-four minute mark is when he gets in the second segment of the video. That's when the uh, that's the part of the uh, episode where uh, all of the uh, proof of the the gig tubers' deceit and their their treachery has been revealed. So once you watch that video, everything will make sense. But anyway, all right. So the the uh, delivery was uh, missed and the dash was paused. So you open your app, uh, dash your app again. <clears throat> all right, resume dash. All right, AR goes up. Oh, by the way, just to let you know, when Pedro did his live stream the other night, there was a few people in there accusing him of everything. These people, do, like Pedro is staying away with a 10-foot pole or a 100-foot pole. He doesn't even want to talk about it. These big gig tubers, if they weren't guilty of using the glitch, they would be talking about it. They're not going to talk about it because they didn't want it be, being, being exposed. Thank God for always cherry picking that that exposed that. Okay, and Mr. Flex's live stream, that piece of shit. Pardon my French, but these people are scum. They're scum, okay? Take the order. <clears throat> no more no more bullshit orders for me. We're on we're on the same page with Sin City Deliveries, DoorDash, or Pedro DoorDash Santiago. Also known as Darth Bet on You. Yeah. And it's funny how you say, it's funny, Thomas, how you say Darth bet on you because De, uh, Derek from e Gig Econ Don, when, he, when his channel was still around, some of you may not have even known that he's gone out of this gig space now, the gig tube space. He, um, he had a, a channel for years. He was known as Dad Dash, and there's a new guy named Dash Dad, but it has nothing to do with Derek. But Derek said he called uh, um, he called uh, Bentley Coop, 
DoorDash Diaries channels, you know, Emperor Pal Palpatine, and he called uh, Pedro Santiago da uh, Darth Vader. So that's how he got the Darth bet on you uh, coin, uh, fr uh, coin phrase to him. And they are because they're Sith Lords. They've, they've turned from the light side to the dark side. They're Siths. Now we glitching. All right, so I was just uh, going to take the time to uh, just kind of uh, just show show you how to do the uh, Dasher app here before we get into our next video. <clears throat> and so uh, I'm just going to do it a few times just to, like, show you that this is real and that, like, this isn't, like, just a fluke. And, like, um, you know, I don't know what's, uh, I don't know what that person, um, I'm sorry, I forgot the name, um, Drew, Drew Easy, Drew Easy, um, I don't know what, uh, maybe, maybe there's like a, maybe there's like something about your phone maybe that doesn't, that you can't use the glitch, but I, I don't know, but, uh, it, I'm being told it's only for Androids, so, that's, I don't know, I guess that's the key. <clears throat> oh yeah, you gotta close the, uh, app there. Alright, stopped. The key to it, so, the key to it is waiting for a delivery to come through, and then you don't take it, and then it goes into a, a pause, and he's going to show you how it how it works, and then you force stop it and you come out. That that's I mean I don't even know how to do it. I've never done it, but this is how yeah, he's showing that's the, you. Uh, this is the glitch, the dash, the GigTuber uh, DoorDash glitch that we're uh, we're using here. It's gonna take a while to get uh, the information out of the community, uh, but it'll, uh, you know, it, once everyone realizes how beneficial it is to uh, them, their, you know, their personal bank account and their, you know, like the less miles on their car, uh, it, it, like it's it's gonna, like people are gonna start flocking to it. In other words, hold, well, hold on a second, folks. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm still recording here. Yeah. Um, so, in other words, even if you get, you go down an acceptance rate, you can always push it back up by doing that glitch. Again, I'm not using the glitch because I'm only doing this, this, uh, these apps for part time money now, and I just cherry pick and I wait for the orders. However, I probably am screwing myself because they they won't send the good orders to me. They only send it to the people who use the glitch. That's the problem. Hopefully we can get this thing closed or either that or get every single uh, DoorDash driver in the world top dasher. You know, that's that's really the best solution is either every single person has free access to it, ready access to it, or nobody has it. So I would rather live in a world where uh, one of those two is the option where, uh, you know, rather than a world where just some people have it and they get to pick and choose which one of us like get to suffer and the other ones get to uh, like just like. Live the life of luxury, like, you know, like just dashing on easy street. I, I totally agree with you, Thomas. Good job. 100%. I, I, I just, I can't wait to see some what some of these channels are going to actually do after they can't use the glitch anymore. And if they don't get another glitch sent, sent in them, they're going to have to be on the same level playing field as everyone else. But, oh, like Mr. Santiago, he's already made a million dollars, so he doesn't care. That's the reason he doesn't care, because he's he's laughing at all the rest of us while we suffer. And for two or three years, those guys were were using a glitch to gain the system so they could make the most money. It's called fraud. Fraud, folks. <clears throat> so, anyway. While lying to their subscribers and their listeners, I can't even believe that these people are still sub to these other channels, Right. And then all, all Pedro can do is say, oh, where's your proof? Where's your proof? We don't need any proof. You've been lying to us the whole time. You've been caught lying about everything. So we don't need proof on it. And I would, if I had a house or a million dollars in the bank, I'd literally go to Vegas and put a million dollars on the fact. I'd say, okay, did Pedro lie to you? If Put it on here and you'll win a million dollars. Did he not lie to you? No. I'd put it on, yes, he lied to you. That's how confident I am that I know he's a liar, and so isn't Sin City Deliveries, and so isn't Mr. Flex, and so isn't uh, your driver, Mike, and uh, what's his name? Be Bentley Dupe, Bentley Coop, right? 
the scumbag of them all, who who partnered and signed contracts with DoorDash to pull you guys all in to listen to the to the lies of how you could be a top dash and make all kinds of money. Was, the whole thing was a complete scam. And anyone who has not seen uh, Jeff Thomas Black's live stream, I have it on my channel here, but you, you want to go over and sub to him and watch his videos. But I have a redundant backup on my channel. I have them on both channels, on Gig Apps and on DoorDash Exposed. It's a must-see. Scroll down a few videos and uh, you'll see... Uh, you'll click on it. You'll see his video, Jeff Thomas Black. All right. <clears throat> With this glitch now, we'll all be on Easy Street together. So. Oh. All right. So just wait. For you the know order. what's funny about the Easy it's Street thing? You, ever, you know what's funny, Thomas, and everyone about the Easy Street thing? Remember that song from The Walking Dead? The Walking Dead. It goes, "I'm on Easy Street." Da, 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 da. Remember that song that was being used to aggravate Daryl while, while while he was captive and they were holding him inside some closet? Remember that? I'm on Easy Street. Yeah, I'm on Easy Street. Da, 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 da. Right? So all the drivers are going to be on Easy Street now because we're all going to make a million dollars like all the other the other content creators made, right? We're going to be millionaires. <laughs> Just wait for that order to come in. <coughs> Once that order comes in. And then it says you missed the order and the dash was paused. And you pull that dash wrap right back up. And it just keep you just keep rinse and repeat and like you just keep force stopping. You just make sure you uh swipe, you know, you like pull up your uh, your app settings here and you swipe that up on the dash wrap, make sure that dash wrap's closed, and then you open your settings and you just you just keep hitting that force stop on the uh the dash wrap. Yep. So just waiting for I'm just on the step where you'll wait for the order, so while that's what uh, we're doing, that we're uh, getting to our next video here. We're gonna look at a video. It looks like Hannibal dropped a video just recently, <coughs> and uh, oh, it looks like those guys are live. Okay, well, all right, we'll tune in and see what they're talking about. I didn't realize they're gonna be live at the moment. <laughs> right, bit. like not, right. but not to his own fault. Like he had like eleven or twelve siblings. Didn't grow up in a great environment. His parents. Here's two grown men on a live stream channel, folks, that are talking about football, potato chips, uh, coffee, and uh, whatever else they're talking about. But nothing to do with with the the obvious thing that everyone should be talking about if they were honest and they cared about the community. But no, they don't want to now. Just because I know that these, well, first of all, Hannibal did a really good video recently, and I'm going to give him credit just for, for that because it exposes some things. And I don't know, I mean, I ha you have to assume that Hannibal knew about the glitch, like absolutely, because he's best friends with Pedro. So he's part of the club, okay? But when someone does make a good video that makes sense, that exposes something, I am going to show things about it. But other than that, these, these people are scumbags because they're not talking about what's relevant to the community. They could care less about the community. The only reason they make videos is to get their Google AdSense money from the views that you watch when you watch their, their channel. They'll put on a nice presentation and lie to you. And, 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 and I'm not saying that Hannibal lies in his videos. He omits things to tell you. He doesn't tell you things. He doesn't talk about, they stay away from certain subjects. They won't talk because they know, but see, Pedro lost his, his monetization and I hope to God he never gets it back because I think that, that it was a great thing that he got demonetized because he, he's not on, he's not on, well, he is kind of on easy street because once you've made, you know, if I had two, 300,000 in the bank, I, I could I could live off of that for the rest of my life because I would know how to invest it. Problem is, is trying to get it. So he made all his money through fraudulent means. Mo most of these channels did. I mean, Trevor's Deliveries is a big liar. He lies his ass off all the time. Every every video is a complete lie. It's crazy. All right, let's let's continue here. We're supportive and around. So I think this family. So. Yeah, this is just, this is more what I'm talking about, man. Just trying to glaze over the shit. Like, he just, like, trying to pretend like it's not happening. Like, he just, like, like just, like, oh, just pretend this channel's not there. Just, like, ignore him and it'll go away. Like, <laughs> good luck with that, man. <laughs> like, like, why don't, like, why, like, why are you, why are you just, like, ignoring criticism? Like, why don't, why don't you, like, like, allow, like, other people to speak? 
obviously helped him. In other words, too, like for instance, the fact that the fact that Pedro deleted like the comments in his live video and and like banned people out of his channel, okay. The fact that he did that and he's not like, for instance, if you're truly not guilty of something, right, and you're totally innocent and stuff, then you you wouldn't mind because you could if the comments would come in and you'd be accused of something. So, for instance, that Jay Corners guy that came into my video, one of my videos and posted and saying, oh, what have you ever done for the community? Where's your proof? Why don't you show some articles and show us things that show this and that? Right. And I so I blasted him out. But I left the comment on my channel, and I and I did a video about it, right? And I set, I put a comment video out or whatever, okay? But what Pedro does is delete and take people off the channel. Now, if it's one thing if someone was, like, calling you, like, racist names and, and all these things. Everyone's entitled to an opinion and all that. But he's now removing people out of his live streams, and he's got more trolls than he can handle with in the live streams. And there's going to continue to be a whole bunch of them from a lot of different angles <clears throat> to keep hammering these people till they till they get off of YouTube. So that ain't never going to stop. It's it's quite delicious, is what it really is, isn't it, folks? It's like a, a nice slice of lemon meringue pie, right in his face, right? <laughs> NFL. I feel like if they didn't step in, he's probably not in the NFL. So I give them credit. Why the fuck aren't you talking about the glitch, bro? Like, who gives a shit about this shit? Like, you know, <laughs> whatever, man. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. Like, who cares? Like, there's more pressing matters. Exactly. The, the, these are gig content creators talking about football. Football on their, on their gig channels. I mean, here's the thing. When I bring you guys a video... Um, about something that's off topic. That's why I created Gig Apps Exposed, uh, my second channel, so I could do videos that I could do off topic. And you know that in advance because I always talk about it. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So the thing is, is that, um, but these, this is way off topic. Talk, talk, talking about football and they're not even talking about anything pressing. Who the hell wants to watch that shit? <laughs> but <laughs> these things are true. Um, and he thought he was being adopted, but he really wasn't. That movie was a was a really big success. I think Can it was like we talk about the um, something glitch. I saw today? The kids had a two point five percent stake in. Uh, they ain't they ain't gonna talk about something that they were involved in. It's plausible deniability. They're just gonna continue to deny it, and the fact that. When Pedro said in his, because I waited for, I watched every video that he had up until after the glitch had been exposed to see when he was going to talk about it. And it came up in his live stream and Hoffy RS, one of my subscribers, uh, asked him a question and he covered it for about one minute. And then he, then he glazed over it and they went on to totally different subjects and didn't even talk about it. And then he admitted, he goes, I did know of the glitch. But he didn't admit that he used it. He, of course he's using it. Who, who? I mean, first of all, who wouldn't, right? Well, I haven't used it, folks, since I've known about it. I've thought of doing it to try it just to see if it works. But I, why? Why? I see all these other channels doing it. Again, if, if I, you know, if I was doing this full time again or whatever, I might do it because I, I would want to get all the best orders. I, I don't, at this point, I'm only trying to make like 50, 60 bucks a night now instead of trying to make 100 or 200 a day or whatever because I'm getting paid for my other job. So it's not a big deal to me, but it, it is a big deal for the community because we all got burnt for the past two years, folks. We didn't make the money that they told us we could make. They were the spokesperson and the ambassadors of these companies, especially DoorDash. So you're going to go to a channel that's going to lie to you like that, especially Pedro Santiago. And friggin' Bentley Coop, two of the biggest liars on planet Earth. Holy crap. And Sin City Deliveries, that scumbag. And, and, and Mr. Flex. <laughs> the earnings of that movie, which at this point is worth millions of dollars. And the family got like 500K or something. And he got nothing. That's, that's his story. Yeah, keep talking because about keep talking about football, you friggin' idiots. They had rights over... I guess him in some way, right? That they were able to do that is, is 
Hold on, folks. I'm just going into my dasher here because I had it paused, and uh, it's it's been really friggin' slow, like so slow. So I said, you know what? I mean, it's Tuesday morning. It's raining out. Nothing's coming in. It's terrible. Friggin' idiots. I made $9. I've been out since uh, 7 o'clock. It's, uh, it's almost get going on quarter, uh, almost quarter of 9 or something. It's the same. His adoption was never legal. Yeah. Um... I mean, yeah, it's, for that not even, not even, hopefully, it's not even going to address it. That he has the right representation to kind of figure it Stick out. Stick that in the sand. Um, the adoptive, well, I guess. I mean, uh, this, th this news is so big about this glitch that every single channel should be talking about it. And it'll be interesting to see if the channels that I like, like Gig Giza, like Zach Drives Fast, like Rideshare Professor, and all of the good, the good ones, right? Are they going to talk about it? Are they going to bring it up in their videos? I want to see if Rideshare Professor is going to cover that. And by the way, folks, I don't have time right now. I mean, if you could go over to these channels and put put it on them, ask them, say, are you going to cover the fact? That, put it in their comment sections of their videos. Hey, there's a glitch on DoorDash that happened. Could you please cover this on your channel and talk about it? Spread this word around heavily, folks, to every single channel and hold them accountable because the ones that won't talk about it are the ones that are doing it. You understand? If they're not going to talk about it and expose it, but that also doesn't mean that they're not guilty because if even if they talk about it, right, they could be revert like backpedaling and still have used it. But, oh, let's talk about the glitch well, and try to like deflect that it happened to them. You know what I mean? So hold them accountable for it, by the way. And I'm not saying every single channel used it, but <clears throat> we need to talk about it so it can get out there for everyone to know, every single person. My quote-unquote adopted mother, um, Lee Ann he responded to allegations yeah. stating that... Like, <laughs> like, why do you think this is, like, the appropriate response? <laughs> they were false, and the family is... Well, you have, you, you have, like, you have, like, like, accusations to answer for. Always supported, exactly. Michael. She expressed her love. And, Why did you and the fact that they don't answer the accusations shows that they are guilty. But I did say in prior videos, innocence does not construe I mean, I'm sorry, silence does not construe uh being guilty. In other words, if someone stays silent, okay, okay, you can't you can't assume that someone's guilty. But once they know or they say, Oh, I had I had knowledge of it. And they talk about it, but then they don't say anything. What if you're not guilty about it? Why are you? Why are you not talking about it? Or why are you not denying it? Saying I never did that. Are you kidding me? I'm a very respectful person. I don't lie to anyone. I would never use something like that. They all used it, folks. The ones that knew about it, they all used it. But they told us something different, right? The community, how how we should do this and do that and jump through hoops to make money. And we got all fucking screwed. Pod, pod my French, I hardly ever swear on this channel. But I'm pissed about it. And every one of you should be outraged about what happened. You fraud the community, dude. Like, why did you, like, let so many of us just suffer and, like, wallow in misery, dude? Yeah. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Exactly. And the family is hurt by these accusations. So, I mean, I, I'm so... I, I'm, I'm almost in tears happy... Like so proud of these people that like Thomas Schubach and Jeff Thomas Black and Torp and Dash Dad and and let's give shout outs to uh uh DoorDash Revolution to uh Hot Facts with Robert Reese. Those are the good people, folks. All good people out there that uh, that are help trying to help the community, you know what I mean? And we have to the good people like us need to stick together because those people are all e they, they're all evil. They're evil beyond belief that are, that are hurting you and making sure that you don't make the money that you need to. What the hell does their channels exist for? So they can pad their own wallets. They don't give a shit about you. Problem is, and, is that, and I know like, like what your girl said, why he's waiting. He's been saying... Just the only thing that makes me like scratch... It's more typical behavior from our, our top gig tube content creators, man. Just talking about Pat, dude. Just like just fluff. Just like shooting the shit, you know. It's like, you know, no disrespect to like your family or whatever, but like, uh, like, do you have anything important to say about the fucking job? Like, we kind of like have a, a situation. I don't know, man. It's like you guys are just like you guys do not have your finger on the pulse, man. You guys do not, you not have your head in the game, man. You guys are out of touch. My head a little bit. 
Oh, they, they're out of touch, but for a reason, Thomas. They're, they're, it's deniable plausible, uh, plausible deniability, and it's also the fact that they, they, they don't want to be caught or found out, so they're just sweeping it under the rug. But all of it, I mean, first of all, we've all suspected something was wrong, but now we know what was wrong. We have something concrete to nail, nail them to the wall on it. And also DoorDash, because DoorDash is the one who created that glitch. I'm telling you, they created it, folks. I would, I would bet my entire, my entire earnings of my, all my jobs for the next hundred years, I'd put my house on the line. I'd friggin' my car, everything. I'd lose, I'd put everything on the line to lose it. To no, that's how sure I am that they created that glitch. I know, I know for, I know in my heart that they did. Behind those desks, man, behind those, those microphones, man, in the studio for too long. Like, Hannibal, when's the last time you've been out on the road, bro? Like, <laughs> if I pull up your videos, like, how long does it take before I find a video where you're actually in your car, man? Do you still? I know. It, it, I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but I, I had to because it's just funny. It's ridiculous. These people, they're in their studios with these large microphones <clears throat> longer. And by the way, you'll... He'll never see me sitting with that type of a setup, ever. Even if I could afford to get the microphones and all that, I'm going to do it straight, right from the computer when we do the live streams. Uh, I'm not going to be all fancy and everything. However, I do know things about um, having um, like a program. I, I, don't, I don't even have that program on, my, on, my, uh, on one of my computers. I can't remember. It's called Studio something, okay? But... It's like, I don't have the time to mess with any of this stuff because I'm working for a living. I'm trying to feed my family and myself and pay my bills. And now we know how we were so manipulated and screwed over by the channels and by DoorDash to, to just screw us over. And they and then they overhired a million friggin' uh, drivers more than, than the, is needed to screw everyone. I told you it's a plan, folks. It's part of Agenda 2030, by the way. All right by the World Economic Forum that wants to make you poor. <clears throat> gig work? Like, do you, like, do you claim to still do gig work? Or, like, do you, like, admit that, like, you're not a gig worker anymore? And, like, if so, do you, like, if you are, like, did you know about the glitch? Like, because it's kind of important. Because, you know, games also preparing your body, so, like, it can't, a dumb person couldn't do, do this. The only thing I could think of... See, this is what I'm talking about, man. Realize like, this is bullshit, this dude. It's because... Like, he was, you know, he's, he's in the NFL. He's making millions of dollars. He's probably not checking out the finance. He's probably not thinking what happens to that movie, how much money, you know. He, he's, his mindset probably wasn't what a boring, even... What a boring conversation. But what a boring he, live stream, bro. This when, I guess when you're retired. Right. Right. I'm glad Thomas clicked off of that because uh, that's bullshit. Uh, there's so many other things to talk about in their channels is about gig tubing and, and, uh, and, uh, delivery work and ride share. And they're not even talking about it. I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. In some of these other channels, like Mr. Flex channel, that that's what they do. They sit there and they talk about all kinds of bullshit that means has nothing to do with anything. All it is, is like, like a potty line. Like it was back in the 1990s where people call in on the phone and they all sit and talk to each other. It's ridiculous. It's like, get to the point, people want information. They want to know how to do something or not how to do something, you know, to help them. People come to videos for that. They don't, if you want to sit around talking about sports, you'll do that with your buddy drinking a beer at a bar. Holy crap. Sports <laughs> video. You guys are so fucking like, cowardly. It's ridiculous. Yep. Cowards. Definitely. On the regular news about it, I've never, ever. All right, this, is, this is the new video that uh, Hannibal dropped. Obviously, we're not going to get anything out of their, uh, their little, like... By the way, this is the video that I wanted to critique here uh, on my own. But So we'll just let Thomas, let's see if he'll play it through or whatever. But here's the thing. There's some imp important information here that he talks about, Hannibal, because this stuff is going on. And you want to talk about DoorDash stealing, they, they are stealing. The video reveals that. So I, I do commend him for making that video, but let's see what Thomas says about it. Conversation back there. You know, they're... They're quite intent on uh, talking about anything but the uh, one thing that needs to be talked about. So we're just going to move on to uh, Hamill's uh, video for now. No secret that DoorDash will hold your wages if you are deactivated. We talked about this on his channel many times. Yeah, that's like some like that's like a that's like a huge travesty. But so this I think we're this all in agreement about this the guy that's the picture on here of the guy that he just showed that's <clears throat> Uber Lyft Phoenix, and no you know 
no disrespect to that guy or anything, but he called, Uber Lyft Phoenix called, and that's okay, he called me out for lying or saying something that was wrong because I showed you guys a video about the train derailments. And I, you know, first of all, I know for a fact that they were done on purpose. And when I said that, he didn't like it. And he says, oh, I'm unsubbing from uh, that for Dora Sucks channel because he's, he's saying false information. I'm not saying false information. It's common knowledge. It's facts. It's proof. Everyone knows about it. Um, from several different sources and stuff. And, it, you know, it's not my fault that some of you are not in the know about things. When I tell you things, you should go and research things on your own. I showed enough videos to show what is going on and what the plan of things are going on. That's why I did that three-part series that I haven't, that you guys haven't seen yet because my, one of my videos got taken down for community guidelines. I almost got a strike, but I didn't. So I have to, I'm going to have to post it on another channel. I'll get back to you guys on it so you can watch that in the, by probably next week or the middle of next week or something, okay? I got to make the time for it, but I'll make an announcement on it. But anyways, he's talking, Uber Lyft Phoenix got money ripped off, 1700 bucks. They deactivated him on DoorDash, and he never, re he never got his money. So this is what Hannibal's talking about. Yeah. Stories that are on the regular news about it, I've never, ever, ever seen something. That guy's on his vacation right now, I guess. Takes the summer season off. Well, good for him. I never really, uh, I don't, I don't really watch too much of his content. I, I just watched a few videos, but I don't know. To be uh, honest, he's boring. Uber Lyft, Lyft Phoenix is boring, but I, I don't like to see someone lose money that they worked for. <clears throat> if you work for the money, you deserve to have it. And then, uh... Uber and Lyft and, and uh, DoorDash and all these companies get to keep your money that you worked on. That's why I say when you should take money out on a daily basis, folks, if you have money in the bank, <clears throat> you know, when, he, when it gets dropped, take it out immediately. Don't leave it in there. Get it on a daily basis so they can't steal your money. You know, use the Dasher card or whatever, anything you got to take get your money out. <clears throat> else has been around, so. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's taking somebody's... 95-hour, 100-hour work week away from them. It is quite common, regardless of the reason of deactivation. DoorDash will not give you your money. Dude, I don't, I don't know, man. Like, I, like the only times like I was ever able to work 100-hour work weeks, like, like consecutively, was like when I was on very hard drugs. You know, <laughs> it's like. <laughs> I wish I was like able Dude, to make I, amount of money. I, 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 sorry to interrupt again. I've worked more hours with gig work than I ever worked at any other job in my entire life because we're forced into that type of lifestyle. It's made to make you like a slave because then you have no time to do any watching of news or research anything and you're always caught like a hamster on the wheel running around to continually try to make money to survive. And and they slowly pull more and more money away from you until you, you're just drained so bad to the point. Like, why did I have to go out and get a W-2 job? Because you cannot make the money you need to survive any longer. It's not just because of a summer slowdown or anything or just because they've, they've oversaturated the markets. It's because the economy cannot sustain it anymore. People are not ordering food like they used to. And the people that do... They don't give a shit about the drivers because they're leaving minimal tips in the orders. And then DoorDash is giving us $2 base pays. You can't live on that anymore. You have to do something to change it. But doesn't mean that we have to make the uh, let these companies continue to do what they do. We got to go after them, sue them in court, go to leg legislature, get laws changed in favor of the drivers. We have to react. That's what it is. Problem, reaction, solution, right? Hegelian dialectic, which is going on, and they get it's it's. But you know what? People are at a at a tipping point, and they're they're pissed off. This is why you see channels like Thomas Schubeck's now popping up and saying he's not. Hell no, he's not taking the shit anymore. And you know, I'm so glad that other channels like took the torch from me and Torp and other channels to 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 do it because they we need to counter these liars and manipulators, and cheaters, and stealers, just like Pedro Santiago, Sin City Deliveries, Your Driver Mike, uh, Driving with Bree Channel, uh, I mean, uh, what's his name, uh, I mean, I could sit here all night, guys, you know the channels, we'll, we'll go over more channels in the future, and Thomas is gonna, 
to a wide array of channels, my friends, to expose a whole lot of it. <laughs> it was, like, motivating to, like, the point where I'm, like, able to work a shift like that, you know? Like, I'm so drained from this shit, man. I'm so, like, 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 uh, just, like, mentally defeated from this goddamn job. Me too. Me too, brother. I mean, and right now, I have no choice. I got to work both my jobs until I get myself out of debt. Once I get myself out of debt, then I can go back to, like, normal eight-hour shifts at, at the job I have and have a couple of days off to relax and take vacations because the job I have has benefits. It has dental, medical, all of that. The one that I just got, which is great. And then I'm going to use the gig apps on the side, and then I'm still going to go after the companies and all of these. Cha- well, you know, the reason I told you guys I wasn't going to, you know, go after channels and stuff, but in the light of things, because of its it's so serious uh, consequences here, we, we have no choice but to talk about what's going on because the channels are directly related to why you are not making the money because they are doing the will and the bidding of the companies by getting bribes and being paid off to lie to you to make you go out and do things that they that these drivers that you cannot achieve. This is the whole reason we're talking about this glitch because they screwed people over for two to three years or possibly longer than that. It's like <clears throat> just just the, the just the level of treachery that we're like dealing with, you know, like for the the people of this community, man, the gig content creators. <laughs> Like, you guys should all be fucking ashamed of yourselves. Yep. Honey, it's their favorite thing to do. It's like their favorite jam or something. And let me be clear, that is completely wrong. If you work for a gig platform and somehow you get deactivated, doing something wrong or something stupid, those companies should pay you for what you have already earned. Even that doofus that was rightly deactivated for cursing out a customer. Uh, yeah, that guy was way in the wrong, but, you know... We also don't get to see the like whole information of like what the order was, you know. Maybe he maybe he drove like from like thirty miles away or some shit, you know. We don't know. Yeah, uh, listen. To be honest with you, I don't blame a guy that's going to a, a, a person's house that that drove thirty miles away and bitched the person out, saying you left me a five dollar tip. I would have done the same thing. But but you got to also know the other side of it that some of these customers that are ordering have no idea that these orders are being taken from you know, lots of miles away. They have no idea. So you have, you it's your, it's your, it, well, it's the, it should be the company's responsibility to let the, the, the customers know that, but why would they? Cause they're, they're greedy. They want all the money from themselves. They steal from you, cheat, lie all the time. So why are they going to tell you? So then you educate the, the customer, but all the customers cared about is his belly, putting the food in his belly, right? He doesn't care where it comes from, and, and, and they think a $5 tip is appropriate. It's not. We should be getting 20-plus percent minimum mandatory tips. I don't give a fuck what anyone else says, and I'm sorry for swearing, but that I am passionate about it. 20% mandatory minimum and 80 to 90% mandatory base pay wages for the drivers. And that's what we're going to continue to, to press until we get it or until these companies go out of business and we will try to force them out of business somehow. And they and believe me when they when their back is against the wall folks, these companies will what they'll do is pull a, a Lorenzo like Eastern Airlines did and they'll just close up shop and shut down because they they already did the damage and they ripped everyone off. They impoverished everyone, and then they'll just go out of the scene, and no one will, you know, hopefully someone will be accountable. Some of these people should be going to fucking jail for what they've done, including the content creators, too. All of them, too. They should. For fraud and lying and manipulating. They shouldn't act like that. That That was probably some bullshit, you know? Uh, and you know, folks, I, I don't use language like this, but I am, I'm very upset. Like I've been upset and Thomas has been upset. I've talked to Thomas on the phone and we had a really good conversation. And, uh, you know, it's not the time to take the foot off the gas pedal. It's the time to put it to the floor, put it to the floor, no brakes, pull the brakes out of the car and go forward and go at 150 miles an hour, right into the wall. The wall is the companies and the channels that are lying to you. Okay. <clears throat> but not tipping enough. That person should get their money. I say it's a nice house for a five dollar tip. <laughs> you hear what he said? It's a nice house for a five dollar tip. Now I know what some of you say. Oh, well, appearances are, are deceiving because people have nice houses doesn't mean they have any money. 
that is kind of true in some ways because there are people that that are doing what's called keeping up with the Joneses. They have nice houses, nice cars, but they're in debt to the up to their eyeballs. Some of them, okay? <clears throat> but there are people <clears throat> who are very wealthy, and wealthy people, I mean, poor people can't afford what other people have. And then they have the nerve to go and order $100 and $200 worth of food and not tip the driver as if it was a waiter or waitress. We do more work than the waiters and waitresses because we're sitting and waiting for, for uh, a long time we're driving our cars, we're beating our cars to death, losing uh, ga- I mean, high gas prices, we have to repair our cars, and everything is on us, uh, all the responsibility is on us, and we get a $5 tip at the door, you, that's a disgrace and a slap in the face to, to, uh, uh, to the driver. I mean, I know there's different varying opinions here, but I believe in, man- if we had mandatory minimum tips, I wouldn't care. You know, and then when we but when we go drive long distance, we should be getting additional fees. The companies will charge the additional fees and then they don't give the driver back any of those that money. These these companies are scum, total scum. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if he drove from like 50 miles away and it was like, uh, you know, like a very expensive order, then like he, he would like at least be justified. But like still like it's still not a good approach, you know. Like it's like if you get if you get wrong. And by the way, folks, I actually have my dash paused, and I need money, right? And I'm doing this because I have no ch- choice. I I have to multi app, multitask. I'm in my car constantly working, going to another job. <clears throat> I don't do the same shit that these other channels do, and sit there and lie to you and manipulate you and try to you know, oh, let me show you how to make money and blah blah blah. All of these channels are all well off. Pedro has almost a million dollars in the bank, folks. Do you not know that? I did videos on that showing you. Google AdSense has public records of every gig content creator or any YouTuber out there. You can look this up. He made in three years on paper that I can find, and it's probably more, $861,000 I found him to have made. Between all the views, all of the... uh, subscriptions that were sent to him, $9.99 uh, $9. a month, and uh, what was it, uh, the super chat money that comes in when people, you know, send him 100 bucks, 500 bucks, whatever he gets, okay, and then you got your driver, Mike, that's charging $997 to show you how to uh, do YouTube when you can, you know, be a YouTuber when you can find out the information on your own for free, these people are scum, scum that are doing this, okay, they don't care about you folks. They don't give a shit that you're suffering and that you, you're not making enough money. They, they've lied to us for long enough. Now it's time for us to rise up and be the kings of YouTube exposing their bullshit. I want <clears throat> these customers like to the point where you feel like you need to do something like that. Just, just get a glitter bomb, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> there's, there's easier, like funnier ways. What an idiot. <laughs> yes, even that asshat. That's why you should cash out every single time you finish your shift. According to a recent article by the city, DoorDash... Delivery workers file wage theft complaints against DoorDash. <sighs> is, the, is, there, is, there any, is there any doubt on that? Did you hear that? They... they they're, uh, Yeah, let's read what that says up there. I, I don't know. Let me see. I can't... I can't... Uh, basically, let's, let's rewind that again because I can't read it. Because it's too small. Let me back it up just a second. Here, yeah, here we go. Drove like from like thirty miles away or some shit, you know. <clears throat> I don't know, but it shouldn't act like I that. I mean, there, there's wage theft happening all the time. So the drivers, you gotta understand how many thousands of lawsuits are happening behind the scenes. Because drivers are listening to channels like mine and taking the advice and going and doing it, and they're getting involved in class action lawsuits. It's only matter of time, folks before the system gets broken where they just go bankrupt and there is no more DoorDash. People are saying, oh, they're a billion dollar company. You can't take them down. Oh yeah, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Believe me. And I wish every single one of these companies would go out of business. We don't need them. They're the reason why you're losing money. They're the reason why that the system is being uh, corrupted and why people are having a hard time finding a job and everything. And why merchants are getting ripped off because the, these people are middlemen. They're scum. They, they, there's a plan, folks. It's an action plan, and I've told you about it. It's called Agenda 2030. 
by the World Economic Forum, by Davos Group, by BlackRock, Vanguard. Look all of this stuff up, folks. I don't lie to you, folks. I tell you the truth. But people, these channels that you've been watching and listening to, I, you know, Pedro called me, right? I'm going to just let you know about this, okay? I wasn't even going to cover this, but he called me because he still had my number a couple of weeks ago and even said, oh, make a video about it. Make a video about it. Well, here we go. I'm going to tell you about it. He called me after I made a video about him and I felt bad after I made the video because I saw a few videos and I thought he was down and out and he was he was having a couple bad days. So I felt my heart because Jesus put it on my heart to, to like not you know, take the video down because he sent me a thing like, how dare you say things about me? You're a hypocrite, right? It looks like Pedro's the hypocrite because he's not even addressing the problems of what's going on in this community. And also he made, he made a short and a video attacking Torp, right? Telling him a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if you saw that, but, but it was, it was not just meant for Torp. It was meant for all of the people who are making videos about him. But he says, uh, let me, let me, let me um, show you something, folks, real quick, okay? Uh, let's see. Here we go. This is from my, my good buddy, J, uh, Mr. Corinthians. He says, didn't Pedro say it was childish and immature for grown men to make videos on him? <clears throat> Watch Torp's new video. Pedro did the same thing to him because Torp called him out. And Pedro says, you, you are a hypocrite. I mean, it's amazing, right? The hypocrite is him. I'm the one trying to help you guys, folks. You know, I'm, I really am. And uh, I got to pause my dash again. And if you pause your dash too many times, they will they will uh, get rid of you. They'll take you off. But, um, you know, it, it's, it's insane. So he called and said, uh, you know, a bunch of crap to me and whatever, right? Oh, and he told me he was taking my live stream down off of his channel Right, he was going to take the live stream off, uh, and I, I like, I care. If any of you want to ever see that live stream, it's on my him here on my channel on DoorDash sucks. You just have to scroll down until you see a, a, a thumbnail with with Pedro, and there's an arch, a St. Louis arch in the back. You'll you'll see it. You could watch that. People say, "Oh, you never went on camera before." Of course I did. I just don't choose to do it because I don't want you guys getting in accidents while you're driving and listening to me. You know, you shouldn't be looking at your phone. You should be driving and be driving safe. Live streams are going to come, folks. They're coming this month. And as a matter of fact, I haven't had a date set, but the date is looking like it's going to be either the August 25th or the 26th. So get ready for it because it's coming. Um, this is a preliminary preview of telling you that. But I will write it out and I'll make a, a separate video, you know, so that way all the people that want to come to the live stream have a chance to come and see it. Now, if you can't be in the live stream to see it, you could come back and always watch it at a later time. But it's about time and I'm going to try to have several guests on of my choosing in there so we can talk about this whole crap that's been going on. It'll be interesting. But anyways, I mean, he, he is the biggest hypocrite on planet Earth. And he's being called out rightfully and righteously. <clears throat> that, was, that was probably some bullshit, you know? Uh, <laughs> the, not the, the friggin' community is sick of this bullshit. Sick of it. We're disgusted. These people should be ashamed of themselves, right? And they're going to have to answer to Jesus Christ someday for doing this crap. You know, and they don't even know that some of, you know, some good people like me pray for their souls so they, they don't burn in hell for it. You know, you know, we, we you're not supposed to hate someone and condemn them. Right. Because God is trying to wake these people up. That's what I've been trying to do for the longest time. But no one's listening. <sighs> that person should get their money. Let's say it's a nice house for a five dollar tip. You hear that? So let's get back to that. It's a nice house for a five dollar tip. You know how many houses, folks, I've showed you in videos on my channel, right? Drove up to billion, not billion dollar houses, but like 10 to 20 million dollar houses, literally. And these people are either not leaving a tip or leaving an inappropriate tip and they're feeding their family with two and three hundred dollar orders. That's, I mean, you couldn't put a twenty dollar friggin bill in there. I mean, even tw like 20 bucks and, it, you, and on, on a two hundred dollar order, the person, the driver should be getting forty dollars. A $40 tip. I don't give a shit what any of you think or say. 
I know the difference. We are in a service industry. And there's, there's people who cut hair. They're bellhops at hotels. They work in restaurants. And we drive. We deliver. The, t- the delivery driver should be getting 20% tips, just like everyone else. I don't care if you disagree with it. That is a fact. It's not an opinion. It's a fact. Because this America was based on on what what's occurring. In other words, it's what we're in a service industry anyways. We're we're a service economy. We don't create anything anymore. The, the new world order has done a, enough great job ru- destroying and ruining the economy by taking away all of the um, the mills, the textile mills that create everything. Everything's shipped from China. So if you're going to do that, well, at least give us money from the service that we do for you, right? But you can't even get that because the people are scumbags. So I don't blame this guy for yelling and, or, or saying something like he did to the person at the door. He deserves to do it. He does. I mean, I, I think more of us should. And if you can't tip the driver appropriately, then get off the friggin' platform and stop using it. Period. End of story. And that's for all the customers that are listening to this, by the way. Yeah, I mean, if he drove from like fifty miles away and it was like, uh, you know, like a very expensive order, then like he he would like at least be justified, but like still like it's still not a good approach, you know. Well, I you know Thomas, I disagree on that for for what I just said. In other words, but that's okay. We we can agree to disagree or whatever. But but like the two things that piss me off: going long distance and getting a really low tip and low base pay. And then going, or going to a house that ordered an enormous amount of food and can't even put in a, 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 a simple, I mean, a really good tip in there, giving you five bucks or something. I don't care. I don't agree with it, and it's wrong, and it should stop. And the companies know this because they don't care because they're getting paid no matter what. But you're not getting paid. You're getting screwed. Like, like if you get if you get wronged by one of these customers, like to the point where you feel like you need to do something like that. Just get a glitter bomb, dude. You know what I mean? There's there's easier... A a glitter bomb. (laughs) Like, funnier ways. What an idiot. (laughs) Yes, even that asshat. That's why you should cash out every single time you finish your shift. According to a recent article by The City, DoorDash... Delivery workers file wage theft complaints against DoorDash. Yep, there it is. Like, you know, I... I really don't care about what these news headlines are, man. Like, we need to talk about the glitch. Like, this is... No, like- I, well, we do We do need to talk about that. But I get it, Thomas. I know what you're talking about. But it is good that the news headlines are that because people need to know. But more of us have to should be doing it physically, going into court, filing lawsuits, going to your legislator, going to your local... Uh, town hall meetings and talking about, you know, delivery drivers and stuff. And maybe they should, maybe you should make an ordinance or a mandate that no, none of those delivery uh, apps should be allowed in your town. You know what I mean? In other words, let the local businesses have local delivery drivers and do things locally and, and get away from DoorDash, get away from Uber and all them because they're evil companies. See, they want everyone to be on board because then they can control the system. They can manipulate even the the merchants and the customers and the drivers. That's why there's a massive lawsuit against them, folks. I'm going to just show you. Let me just go to, um, let me go here to YouTube and show you. Actually, here, here, I don't think, wait a minute. Let me see if I can do it here. Let me see. Uh, Yeah, I think I can. Okay, let me do. DoorDash sucks, and then I'll go to my own channel here, okay, and then go to my videos, okay, now I'm going to scroll, like, from the top, if you scroll down, right, you keep scrolling, okay, here it is, right here, massive DoorDash class action lawsuit, it has 553 video uh, views at, the, at this time, It says, Massive DoorDash class action alleges consumer scammed by predatory pricing. You guys need to watch that video. It's right under the two different species, Bird of Prey video, Uber and Lyft. Click on that video and watch it, folks. It's really important. It really, it really is. Uh Uh-oh. Did I lose that? Oh, I hope not. Oh, okay. Here it is. Okay, let's get back to the video. But that, that is like, you need to listen to that information if you've not seen it. Please go to that video and, and watch it, all right? Let's continue. Like, 
Like a lot of a lot of this, like I don't know. We'll, we'll see what else he has got to say about it. Death complaints totaling nearly twenty-two thousand dollars in lost wages since a new local law. Dude, this is such bullshit. Where you just like sit here and you like read an article to us, man? It's like I could do this, like <laughs> anybody could read this article, man. Like, this is no, I, I get what you're saying there, Thomas. But I have to say this: it is good to let the community know so that they can go and see it. Because not everyone has the luxury of a, of time to sit and 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 search for stuff. You know what I mean? So when someone pinpoints something, at least you can click on you know a link to see that. Hopefully, he put the link in there. I mean, I, I do read some articles occasionally because they are important for you to know, especially that massive, you know, uh, massive uh, class action lawsuit against DoorDash, you know. So it is it is good, but this is like a waste of our time. Requiring <clears throat> weekly payments. But no, I get what you're saying. I know what you want. You want retribu retribution and, and uh, answers for why they used the glitch. And we're going to get to the bottom of that, by the way. Went into effect in February. This is absolutely insane imagine signing on to an app doing the work but you get into some issues and you get deactivated and that platform decides to take your earnings and hold it forever the workers just i mean how about all the like the the, the stealing of the tips man like the yep you know like how about when we have to take all these like two dollars going like 10 mile orders and then like five dollars going eight miles like that's theft Oh, like, definitely. That's bullshit, dude. That's why, and it's funny you say that, Thomas, and it is theft, because that idiot Jay Corners, whatever his name is, saying he was listening to me for six months and I haven't done nothing for the community and all that. I've done plenty, but I've done a lot more than any of those other idiot channels. But the thing is, is that the fact is they steal in every different type of way. People don't consider that stealing, but it is. When they, when they could easily pay us what... What, the, what we need and what we should get and deserve while they're also still making a profit. They want to put out information falsely in these companies and tell everyone that they're not, they're not profitable when in fact they're very profitable. That's just to brainwash you so you don't feel bad working for them. In other words, oh, all right, well, we'll all get along to get along and we'll all be poor. You think those companies are poor? They're, they're stealing money off the consumers not and they're stealing from the drivers because we're the ones doing the work and we're not getting paid for it. We're not getting paid appropriately. This is the whole kit and caboodle. This is why we do these channels, folks, to try to help the drivers to get a better wage, better than fair wage. You don't deserve a fair wage. You you deserve an exceptional wage. And then it's the same thing. They've trained the customers to be low ball tippers and no tippers. And, and that is shout out to Tim Slaughter, my one of my great subscribers on the channel that is, he just made so much sense over the couple of years that he's been on. I mean, all of you folks that contribute to the comments, like you know what's really going on, you know? And I can't say enough how, how proud I am of all these people and plus Thomas Schubeck. You know, we can agree to disagree on some things, you know, you're never gonna agree with everything, but overall, we want better uh, solutions for the drivers, right, folks? You know, <laughs> Project is taking charge of helping those with DoorDashes get their wages back. The Workers Justice Project is a New York City based worker center that focuses on educating, organizing, and fighting for better working conditions. Found it in 2010. This is just literally just like a like like local news article, and he's just like clipped it out of the newspaper, and he's like just gonna like read it to us, and like that's his video. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, man, but this sucks. Yeah, I hear you. I hear WJP, you, WJP, the base of more than 12,000 members, and primarily organizes low-wage immigrant workers. The complaints cover alleged... I, however, I do, if, if they're... Like, first of all, I don't really like certain groups that are created because a lot of times you have, like, what's called uh, espionage, espionage agent spies that come into those groups to, like, kind of shy off people from doing their original mission. In other words, if, if it's a truly honest group and they are trying to help people get money, that's one thing. But a lot of times people will try to compromise those groups. And um, that's why this United uh, uh, Gig Workers, United wor Gig Workers out in California, I don't really, I don't like, they, they don't even have any solutions. That that group is created to be what's called gatekeeping. They're gatekeeping for the for the gig app companies. They're not really trying to help anyone. 
most of them, what have they accomplished? People ask me, what am I doing? I'm one guy, right? But what are the, what are those giant groups with lots of money doing to help the friggin' community? I haven't heard any, I have, there hasn't been any checks being sent out to any of the drivers since 2019. And all of those drivers only got like two or $3,000 when in fact it was a pittance of what they've, what these companies have ripped off from the drivers over the course of the time that they've been driving and we have massive lawsuits but a lot of the times that the company will settle with the people and it's like a bank robber going into a bank stealing a hundred million dollars and then he gets to go home and and with 80 million and he only gives back 20 million that's exactly what these these are high high crimes high white collar crimes that are being being okayed because the judges just go, oh, okay, we're going to award you a twenty million dollar uh, win when they when when they ripped off a hundred million and they only get to pay pay out twenty million. These people need to go to jail for this. This is criminal activity. Is what it is. Hey, <clears throat> like, what kind of car do you drive, bro? Like, what 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 apps do you work? <laughs> what market are you in? You know, I'll agree with that. He's in his studio. 24 hours a day, he hardly does any work because he doesn't need to because he's getting paid from all all the Google AdSense and everything else. Now, I do know he does a, a, an app called Rover, a dog walking app, but he probably keeps that private. I've never seen him do any videos on him actually dog walking. Why doesn't he show the dogs he's walking with if he's using the Rover app, right? <laughs> like, <clears throat> how many miles a week do you drive? Like, what? Like, what? When, when when was the last time you drove, man? Like, are you like? Do you still have like a uh, like like a relevant sense of like what is going on with this industry? <laughs> April and May of two thousand and twenty-three, amounting to nearly twenty-two thousand dollars in lost wages, and this is actually even more crazy. They're also handling over fifty additional complaints, totaling over fifty-five thousand dollars towards DoorDash. One of the cases involved a worker named Sumitro Phoenix. I hope I pronounced that right. Okay, we don't. I don't. Right now, we don't need to talk about the theft of the company. We need to talk about the theft of the give the gig content creators. Yeah, that that I I think we need to talk about it all. But yeah, I I agree with you on that because this is the hot topic about the glitch and all that. But you got to remember that's a it's a it's a big piece of the puzzle, but it's a smaller piece of the puzzle in the overall big picture. Only because the companies are the are the root of the evil and the problem that have created this. Because they created that glitch for those drivers. So we do have to talk. We got to talk about it all, man. Definitely. <laughs> we need to talk about like, all of your like collective complicity in a, in a scam to defraud this community. Yep. Absolutely. Like, don't you think we should talk about that? Yep. Definitely. Locked out of his DoorDash account. Following the and, the f- routine. and let me just say one other thing. The fact that Hannibal is hungry hasn't even done a video on the glitch... How come he hasn't talked about the glitch? This is going to be interesting to see if Hannibal is hungry. And I know, Hannibal, you're probably going to be listening to this. But if Hannibal is hungry's channel will actually cover the glitch and and try to deny a plausible deniability on it or say, oh, I heard about it, but I never used it. Uh, are you kidding me? He's best friends with Pedro. He's best friends with him. <laughs> user identification procedure but he i guarantee you he won't do a video i, I i'll bet i'll bet ten thousand dollars on it that he won't do a video on it now if he does i guess i'm gonna have to give him ten thousand I mean, oh, actually I, you know something let me retract that because he he probably would to, to be a scumbag to try to collect it from me so i'll retract that but i i'll highly doubt let's put it to you that way that he will do a video on the glitch he will a lot of these it, these content creators will just mull it over like it doesn't exist. So what we need to do is go and hammer them in their comments and ask them, how come you're not covering the glitch? How come you're not making a video about it? How come you're not talking about what happened with the content creators lying to everyone? Because if he doesn't cover it, then he's part of the lie. He is. Everyone that does not cover this is a liar. They're lying to you. And why would you sub and watch their videos? Because they're scum. All right. She has done before. Every year, DoorDash requires workers to resubmit information such as their tax number, emails, and phone numbers for tax. Now, let me just say, let me say something else, folks. 
I know what some of you might be thinking. Oh, oh, Mr. Christian man, what are you talking like that for? You know, I'm, I'm a human being. I have feelings. I, I, this is some of my flaws and I feel bad that I have to sometimes talk like that, but I'm angry. Hey, even Jesus, when he was in the temple, uh, uh, they would do uh, gambling and everything. And he fl- it says he flipped the tables over and asked them to get out of the temple, right? Because he was mad. So even Jesus got angry about it, right? We, 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 we are angry because we've been lied to for the longest time, right? <clears throat> why, are you, why are you telling us this shit, man? Like, everybody knows this. Like, who cares? <laughs> what the fuck is this man <laughs> I, I love you Thomas oh I love you you're full of piss and vinegar like I am and top and everything oh I'm so glad man oh thank you for being in this community Thomas you know and you know I'm not laughing at you I'm la- I, I'm just saying indirectly you're 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 funny but you you're serious too and I believe me we need to be serious, but sometimes we need to laugh to blow off some steam. You know what I mean? <laughs> Felix submitted all of the required information. However, he was never received a follow-up verification email. DoorDash locks him out of his account. Phoenix expressed his frustration and anger. Quote, it makes me very like, angry. Uh, uh, none of this matters. It's all, all of this is just like a smoke screen to like, like deflect from the fact that you like help cheat the, the good community. You know? like <laughs> Yeah, because right, because if he stays complicit complicit in the fact of not making videos about it or not talking about it in live streams, then he absolutely was a part of it. So, you know, hey, I liked Hannibal's is Hungry's channel for a long time and everything, but I'm starting not to like him. And I, I just don't think he's a good source of anything because he's the one screwing everything up, you know? Unbelievable. How did you know about the glitch, man? Like, who did you learn it from? Who's the first of, among among the circle of uh, like you know the gig content creator? Like who? Like was it was it Bentley? Was it Sin City? <laughs> like, w- Believe like, me, they all conspired in this thing. They they had to have folks. There's no because why would you not be covering it? Why would another big channel not be covering the news? Does any of you know any big channels? I mean, ones that are really successful, making lots of money. Do you know any ones that that are really, truly good and really care about you? Name one in the comment. I would love to hear. And I know you're going to pick the obvious ones that I talk about, but I'm talking about a really big one. Is there any ones that you think that actually do care about the gig drivers and are exposing what's going on? No, I mean, I'm not trying to take all credit here, but no one's really done as much hard work as I have and put my blood, sweat, and tears and time into doing the channels that I've done. I have two channels and I have to keep up both the channels and make all these videos and talk about relevant stuff and trying to help everyone. And I've been doing it since day one. And you know what sucks is it's like, I don't care about Google AdSense or money or anything like that. It has nothing to do with that. It just sucks that I'm being suppressed and my view count hasn't gone up much in my my uh, subscribers haven't, you know, people are not finding the information. That's what I'm upset about. That's the only thing I'm upset about. So I need you guys to share these videos with your friends, family, your, um, you know, on Reddit posts, on TikTok. I mean, share all of my stuff with everyone so they can see what's going on. <clears throat> you know? Why didn't any of you come forward, man? Like, why did you just stay silent? Is it because you wanted to just, like, take advantage of it while everybody else rotted? Huh. Like, that's pretty fucking disgusting, man. Exactly. Job, and when I lost access... I totally agree with you, Thomas. 100%. To his account, I had nothing and else... And then you're gonna sit there and just, like, glaze over it and, like, pretend like it didn't happen? Like, you, you really think that, like, that's gonna slide? Like, I, I don't know, man. I don't I don't think it is, dude. I'm not so sure. I guess we'll see, because, I mean, you're just gonna keep sticking your heads in the sand, and I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Yep. Me too to fall back on you know if you don't like it like you shouldn't have cheated us exactly exactly if you can't take the heat get out of the kitchen right and you know it's too bad that i don't know about the laws and stuff we'd probably have to look up the federal trade commission and the department of labor laws to find out what laws were broken here and then go after even the, the uh, channels, you know what I mean? Sue them in court, maybe find them criminal. Maybe we can get them to all go to jail somehow, get jail time. Maybe three, four, five years jail time would, you know, fix them, you know? Like, you should have treated us with a little bit more honor and respect, you know? Like, it's, it's supposed to be a mutual thing, man, giving back. Like, you know, like, 
like the community is like it's like there to support you guys and like and like back you up and like back your play and like you know what I mean and you know me and Thomas uh we hopefully going to do a collaboration in the near future uh and I will let you know more about that down the road anyways continuing <clears throat> Like, root for you, like, succeed and shit. And, like, here you are just, like, here you guys are just fucking cheating all of us, dude. Just, like, it's just, like, a bitch slap, dude. Just, just slapping us in the face with your dick, man. <laughs> Not the way you want to, either. Follow all of the company instructions. And to lose my account and money in the process is very frustrating. The Workers' Justice Project has claimed to recover over $200,000 in non-payment. You, know, Han- you know, Hannibal does gatekeep for uh, Pedro a lot, too. Um... He's why I know Hannibal's watched a lot of my videos in the past because they want it as much as we want to see how they're defrauding us and screwing us. They're watching us, our channels to see if we're calling them out. Pedro and all those guys, they watch my channel a lot. He actually Pedro has stolen ideas from me and used them in videos because he can't come up with his own content create creation. He has to rip off things from people like me. And then use it on his channel because he's got a bigger channel. You know what I mean? I've seen that. I've, I've never really talked about it because I don't really care. I'm only mentioning it because it's a fact and it's true. And because these people run out of content to come up with. So whenever you see me doing a video and then a few days later or a week later, you see him talking about the very same thing. Now, can I say that I haven't talked about some of the things that they have? Of course, because I'm here to expose them and expose the, what the fraud and the lies and the manipulation of the of the gig app companies as well, trying to get drivers better than fair wage. That's what my mission on my channel is, okay? But those other channels should be talking about stuff too, but they don't because they're part of the scam. They're part of the manipulation and the fraud. Exactly what's going on. <laughs> well, like, you just, it seems like... You seem like the kind of guy that, like, if, if we were, like, in, in, like, the same room, like, you just, like, wouldn't, you'd be, like, such a fucking snob, dude. You wouldn't even give me the time of day. Yep. You wouldn't treat me with any respect. And, by the way, they all went out to the gig ca- cabav- uh, carnivore thing that was out in L.A. last summer or whatever. Remember that? Or a few months back? At Cur- it was called Curbivore. That was it. Curbivore. And that was all about the technocracy. And they were trying to sell the fact that, they, oh, look at the companies bringing in the robots. And, oh, we got to get a lot. We got to get on board with that. Are you kidding me? That means the end of your job, folks. The end of you, make, you making money with these gig apps. Because they knew, they knew that people were going to react after the problem they created. And then the solution is to drop the wages down to $15 an hour or less by earn by time right <clears throat> bring in the robot robots in the autonomous cars so that the people who bitch moan and complain get thrown off the platforms and deactivated and then the ones who don't buy the electric cars because uber uh uber's ceo dara kashashahi had told everyone that if you do not conform to buying a an electric car and i have the proof i have the video proof of it i've shown you guys he announced that they you will not be able to drive on the platform, which means you won't be able to do Uber Eats and you won't be able to do Uber Rideshare. And do you think that the other companies are not going to adopt that plan? That is the plan, folks. Agenda 2030. Look it up. And look up the World Economic Forum and see what evil that they're doing. They run these companies, folks. <clears throat> but you just look down on me like, like if I if, dude, if I show up to that gig con, you guys would like put me in the fucking back row. And you would just be like, huh, like, oh, like, what? Well, well, we invited them. You know what I would do if I was at that gig con? I would have stood up in front of all of them and, and told them that you should all be ashamed of yourself. You're being deceived by Pedro and these scumbags that that are here. Not everyone is a scumbag that was there. There's some innocent people, probably. <clears throat> but we'd have to, we need to be in a public forum, literally out in a co- convention, so we can expose all that. And you know what? Me and Thomas talked about you know what you what we need to do is our own gig con, called Glitch Con, right? And we may do that if if it's any if it is possible for me to do it. Even, you know, even if I could do it in some small way, I don't want any donations or anything like that, folks. We'd have to do it all individually and meet up somewhere if we could do it. But we would, I would put it together. I'd make it, I, it would have to be put together a year in advance 
or six months so everyone could really attend and we'd hopefully have thousands there because the real drivers would show up to that the real ones that if if they could afford it you know what i mean maybe we could do a gofundme page or something i don't really like doing that but like make a, a fund for people who need to so we could buy them plane tickets to come to the to the glitch con you know what i mean <laughs> like we didn't actually think you'd show up like you guys would be like you guys would do me so dirty like you're, you're all just a bunch of fucking losers at heart it's from DoorDash. According to this article, compared to other major... It sucks that you guys story. are, like, the fucking, like... Like, the representation of, like, the fucking gig workers of this, you know, this, like, space. Yep. It's like, you, you're, like, so... Like, you're such poor representatives of us. Yep. As Uber Eats and Grubhub, DoorDash is leading the way of holding pay... Um... <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. That's a, that's, a, that's a cool pie chart. You should probably somehow figure... Now, it'll be interesting to see if DoorDash actually... Uh, ends my dash because I've paused my dash so many times. I'm pausing it because I don't want it to end because I'm trying to finish off the video, but it'll be interesting. Let's see. At the end of the video, I'll see if I'm still able to dash because if I can't sign back in or something, then you'll know that they did it to me. <laughs> how, like, how to fit in like, the theft from the glitch in there, you know? Like, why do you think that like nobody's going to give a fuck about this? By far. I mean, what the hell is going on, DoorDash? But let's get a little deeper. Let's talk about the New York City delivery workers, especially from the immigrant. Whatever, man. We'll I guess we'll talk about whatever, like, like obscure bullshit you want to talk about. Like, I, like we want to talk about the glitch. We're going to keep trying to talk about the glitch. Because many of them are the center of this story. Many DoorDash delivery workers in New York City are immigrants. They're hard workers. They're using the e-bikes, <laughs> scooters, and cars to deliver food and other services. Like, I would, I would literally have more respect for you if you, like, just typed, go fuck yourself. Like, just, like ignoring me. <laughs> It's such a bitch move, man. Like, if you guys notice, if any of you got, uh, get content creators notice, you come by my channel and you type some shit, like notice that it doesn't get deleted. That's because I'm not a bitch. Right. We want to cover all this. I know it's amazing. You know who deletes his his content, like uh, uh, comments, like a lot is your driver Mike, and also Bentley Coop. And now Pedro's starting to do it because he did it in the live stream. He deleted people that were in there. It's like, really? You can't take the heat and the criticism? Even, let me just say this, even if it wasn't true, let's say Pedro was completely innocent. Let's just say he was, right? And he didn't do it, right? Why would he be afraid to keep the comments in if he knows he's, he's innocent? How come he's not defending himself? Because he is guilty, because an innocent man doesn't let himself be, be uh, I mean, but like I said before, silence does not construe um, his guiltiness or innocence. It, does, it doesn't, but I would not want to stand by taking people to, I would make videos that say, listen, what they're saying about me is a complete lie. If you want to believe that, go ahead. Now, he has, I, I, he's alluded to that fact, but he's never really stood up for himself. So he, he needs to, these people need to, but we, none of us will believe him anyways, because they've all lied to us. We've caught them in lies, folks. Why would, that's why at the gig con, why, like you're literally going to believe a guy that's, I mean, I couldn't even believe it. I almost fell off my chair when I saw that Bentley Coop was going to attend the gig con, right? The gig con. Uh, con job, which is called a gig conference, right? It's a con job though. And that's what it was because Bentley Coop is a representative of DoorDash corporate. Okay. And he always has been. And we're taking it. They're trying to get advice from that dickhead at that conference. Are you serious? <laughs> Why would you listen to him? I mean, the only reason we listen is to expose the lies and the bullshit of what he's doing. God damn it. To support our family. You guys are so fucking frustrating, man. Like you think you're you think you're so fucking clever. Farm, bikes, repairs, mails, um, decadence, bro. Just like just you just sloppy, man. You guys are just like you just got, you guys are too big for your britches, man. That's what that's really what this glitch is all about, you know? So you guys just like having too big of a head. Um, maybe uh, thinking expensive. thinking this like this fucking like like potentially criminal cheat is like your fucking personal fucking toy, man. Yep. Yep. Now we see who you guys really are. We cover all that from our package. Cheer City Council passed regulation of delivery Shame apps on you. Hub and DoorDash. Shame on you for fucking putting out this fucking this fluff piece of shit, dude, when you like know that there's 
far more pressing matters that Missions and pay. They're seeking a better life and drawn to the God, promise. God, you guys are so fucking tone deaf, man. Income. But the reality is... You guys keep doing what you're doing, man. Just pretend it's like... Where rent is like, what, if, uh, over what if, like, um, a huge mob, like, internet mob of, like, hundreds of people just, like, stop, like start, like, flooding your fucking channel and just, like, trolling you and just, like, start fucking with you? I, I guarantee you that what's going to happen then, if that happens, is they'll just, they'll, they'll, um, what do you call, they'll, um, disable the comment section on their videos so you can't even comment in their videos anymore. That, that's how they'll try to piss people off. But it doesn't stop us from making videos about them exposing what they've done. There, there needs to be accountability for this. These people are not, we're not going to let them get by with it. We're not going to just roll it under the rug. Because they're not, they're not even talking about it. They're not even trying to defend themselves. If someone came and said something that was that they lied about me and someone said, hey, there's a video made about you and you would address it, I would be making a five-hour video on it talking about how much it's a lie and it, trying to defend myself. And I'm not a liar, folks. I tell you guys the truth. You guys know that, you guys and gals. Happened, you know? <laughs> and it like, it's like something you could have avoided just by like being a fucking adult, like having conversation top expensive you need multiple jobs to make ends meet this is what people consider affordable housing this is affordable housing right here i found this on facebook like notice how udm is not sweating his balls man like why is that it's because he has like like a shred of fucking decency yep he does affordable housing in new york city so if you want to live in this nice out of and i wanted to mention that out of all the channels that are big channels udm at least came out and admitted that he he did know about the glitch but not to talk about it in other words he was admitting that he used it too but i also think that you know i understand where he says well do, like in other words he was trying to say well if if it's there just use it for your advantage but the problem is not all of us knew about it why didn't these cha why didn't these channels make a, a a video specifically telling us hey i want you to use the glitch because this will give you an advantage it's because only certain people were privy to it. This is why we have to expose it. Because we got screwed and we were working our ass off making a pittance, a quarter of the money that these other channels were making. And it right here is in Manhattan, Broadway. <laughs> Ten units in this building. It's like a really regular building, nothing too fancy about it. This is the income level served. You must make with your family. This is so stupid, bro. This is such a boring piece of shit, dude. Like, what are we even fucking talking about here? Well, man? I, I do, I do agree with you on that. Only I do like to hear about some of the lawsuits and stuff. But you're right, most of it is boring. <clears throat> like, I hope the rest of your content is not like this because this sucks, man. Dollars, one hundred and thirteen thousand dollars, or they won't even talk to you, and you can make up to about. It's just funny when like you you say words that are like it's like that's 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 you to me. You won't even talk to me. It's just, I don't know, it's just ironic when, like, the fucking, I don't know, man. A quarter of a million dollars. I don't know, I'm getting pretty tired. <laughs> and you get a plug. Getting pretty, pretty much time to wrap it up here, probably with this last video, and then uh, I gotta, I gotta get some sleep. Oh. Alright, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is the end of the video here, folks. I want to thank everyone coming to the video here to go over and give all your love and support and uh, subscribe and like all of his videos, watch his videos. He, he makes some really good ones, folks, Thomas Schubeck Industries. Definitely go over there and check him out. Um, and I'm going to continue to um, promote him and promote uh, Thomas Jeff Thomas Black and other channels. And uh, let me know. Let us know in the comments what you think, folks. Uh, do you not? Are you not upset at what happened to you? Are you not upset that you got screwed over by a system that threw you overboard thirty fucking years ago, as George Carlin says? And forgive me for the swearing, but I'm quoting him. And uh, there's a lot of broken, unfixed, and unanswered things here, folks, that we need to get at the bottom at. And do not let these channels get by with it, folks. Troll them heavily, get into their channels, and hold them accountable to it. That's the that's the mission that you should have. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm actually gonna post this at both of my channels, so it'll be on Gig Apps Exposed and also on DoorDash Sucks, so you can get the word out. And uh, just know that you've been screwed over by a lot of content creators that lied to you, manipulated you, and basically in in theory stole money away from you and more into their pockets and they went along with what the company wanted remember that that's what we're talking about here okay so with that said 
Thanks for coming to the video, and I will catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care, folks.